I turned the frequency way down and, and this stuff started happening with the light on the subject that was unbelievable and, and I had the tape recorder going so you can actually hear this moment. Oh, look! Oh, boy, it's, it's hallucinatory. Oh, Tony, can you see that? Have your actual eyes in reality ever seen anything as, as exaggerated and raging as this? I mean, aside from... I thought a structure is something that was pretty interesting. And repetition and uh, the way that um, sound and light, if they're controlled in short durations, they do funny things. And I thought this was pretty, pretty cool. Tony knew about flickering light from having read W. Gray Walter when he was an undergraduate at Harvard. And, and W. Gray Walter's book, The Living Brain, is really the book behind a lot of the lighting effects, the strobe light experiments as a way of affecting people's brain waves. I thought that maybe if there was uh, some kind of differential scale of frequency activity along this line of interaction between fluctuating light in the brain, that maybe there would even be a basis for creating some kind of musical structures using this scale. And so I decided that I would just make a uh, film out of these patterns and copyright it, and then I would be Mr. Flicker. The flicker, when it's shown in 1966, is immediately a notable film. Someone supposedly throws up at the premiere. Uh, the projectionist comes down with a photogenic migraine. It's pronounced as being a very important film by some people, and it's pronounced by other people as not being a film at all. over changes your way of being if you can get that that's cool people say oh flicker movie if they read about it they say white frames black frames okay got it you know no <laughs> it's not that at all when you sit in there something happens in the brain you get tremendous colors after a while and shapes and you have kind of an out-of-body experience no LSD needed. That thing does it all. I mean, it's a tremendous experience if you give it a chance. One third of the audience hated the film and would sometimes or often leave even before it got underway. One third of the audience would uh, just uh, not have any real response at all. And one third would be ecstatically interested and responsive and would report all kinds of subjective, like interesting interactions and so forth. And they'd have like weird, weird things to report. Weird things to report. Like, oh wow, I saw this uh, tra wagon train uh, encamped at a creek and birds and letters and animals and all kinds of stuff. The Flicker became known as a film that was as or more effective with your eyes closed than with your eyes open. 